Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing? It is Friday. Thank you very much. End of the week. So let's get into today's video. So I hope we're all doing okay today, it's Friday, yes, thank goodness, it's the end of the week, roll on weekend, I don't know why, but everyone seems to get excited when it's Friday. Anyhow, excuse the dog barking in the background because there's some people outside. Yeah, so it's still to be quiet a little bit. Anyway, so I just dropped my friend off at the train station because she's going to meet a family today um, and now I've got to wait in for someone to come and sort my fire alarms out, smoke alarms, whatever you want to call them because I've, three of them I've had to take down and it's, they're saying, oh, it changed your battery I've looked and when I've t looked underneath the box it's uh, the, the the thing itself, the alarm it says do not touch because it's electric it's le live electric, you know what I mean and I don't fancy getting electrocuted today, thank you very much I've got the vets at four o'clock Hmm, it's nothing major, it is just a checkup for Sutty, Theo and Bella because they're getting neutered next week so they need to da -da -da -da, have their pre-op type of thing. I don't know if it's actually chat, have I got milkshake? I don't know, sorry I've just had a slim fast milkshake. Yeah, that's going pretty well to be honest, I didn't think it was going to, but it's got, I've had my second one today and then I usually have something to eat at, at tea time. I'm actually getting full quicker at tea so I'm hoping I've lost a bit of weight. But I'm not going to lie, I did a few biscuits through the night because you know when you wake up and you're like, ugh, oh, I feel rubbish. I needed something to eat. So I had a few biscuits and yeah, the cats aren't going to love me in a minute because I've got to put them in the cat carrier and yeah. I didn't insert a clip of my um, that dyslexia pen uh, for le like learning difficulties. Uh, but I'm not kidding. You. That's it. There. It's got its cover on. I'm not, I've got to say I'm impressed. With some of the things that I'm not too sure of, and I went over the word just and it went. So like, what did I go over? Or it? Uh, I just picked a random word and I just went over. It went fine. I'm like, ooh. Good. <laughs> so yeah, I'll try and insert that in the video. Hi guys, so here we go. This is the pen I said I will show you. I've done an, up, done an up to date one. Now it's finally charged up. This is for dyslexia. I've got one of my books, study books up. That probably won't need just yet. Because <laughs> um, I've only just started an access course. Anyway, yeah, let's see how it goes. So here we go, you've got a little, quite a range of work. Oh my god, my finger looks big. Uh, so I'm going to go for this one. Right, bear with me a minute so I can find a random word. So that's what it tells you. So let me just find it. Oop, no, I dropped it. Let me just go across chapter. Chapter. Yay! There you go. And when you want a new word, just start to do it again. You just clear it. And then you can go on to whatever else you decide. I do need to make the print a bit bigger because obviously the camera's picking it up right now so I can see. But it's quite tiny. Anyway, guys, yeah. What do you think? And then you just turn it off. You've got the volume and that on there. Oh, got a dog hair on there, sorry. And then you've got the camera. I think that's to take some pictures or stuff. I don't know. I've got a clue. I need to go through the manual. But there you go. That's what I got. I bought it myself. This wasn't gifted, but 
yeah, four to six pounds something I think I wrote, I put it in yesterday's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So what did you think of my pen then? And now, got some crazy kitties going off. I forgot to take a picture down a second. This is what's, uh, what was that noise? Dee -dee -dee. Hello Bella! Hello Theo! And then I've got Moody Sutty in there. It's just basic. They're going to get neutered next week and they just need... Oh God. They just need a pre-op. So I don't want... Uh, I think they just to check over and make sure they're okay. And yeah, I'll be glad when it's all over and done with. <sighs> These past two months has cost me dearly with my animals. And I'm going to... I've got a tin. Now someone goes, why didn't you get cat, uh, pet insurance? Now I found in the past one of our pet insurers, I've never used it. Excuse me, Mrs. Um, and I found I was just wasting money. Um, so I got I'm gonna I purchased one of them tins with it's like a tin, it's got a slit at the top and you can't get it unless you get tin opener. I'm gonna pop a couple of quid in each time, uh, whatever spare money I've got, and then oh my body's hurting. So I'm going to do that and then at least I'm not going to be hit hard when the next bill comes. I just find as well with a lot of insurance companies that don't always pay out for certain things. So you're left stuck basically and screwed. So here we go. Let's see if this fetch goes okay. <laughs> I don't know if I have to pay up front. No, not up front cost for the neutering but today's appointment. Yeah, and I don't know what to wear purse. Anyway, I better go and go and find it. <laughs> what an absolute tit. I've just mind myself. <laughs> People will probably say, yeah, you are. Uh, but I'm not going to take full responsibility because... So, okay, let me let get, get into it. I've been to the vets. Bella, Theo and Sutty. Bella, because she's, uh, she's getting neutered next week. And I'm like, my... Sutty and Theo going, so I thought it was another pre-op. I got the text message as well stating that, so there were better at four, Sutty at quarter past four, and Theo at half past four, I think it, oh, I might have got mixed up. But anyway, took them all down. It's only Bella. I'm like, what? So I showed them text message, but they just wasn't interested in it. I thought, if you've, it's obviously a simple mistake, but... Bloody own it, you know, if I make a mistake, I own it. And then, yeah, all right, I felt all right. I felt that small time, I, I was like, mm -mm, you know, a little bit sheepish. Ed, oh, yeah, I can't even look at them. Um, anyhow, so that's Bella's pre-op done. Um, so she's going in on 19th. I got mixed up again. They give me the wrong date. I'm like, what's happening here? You give me 18th and now you're telling me the 19th. Make up your mind. I hope they give me a reminder the day before or two days before because... I'm starting to like stress out a little bit over it, um, but yeah, that's that today. That's I'm not really done much apart from ring the repair people about my smoke alarms because, and I was on the phone to the repair uh, people. Whilst I'm on the phone to them, they're ringing me, and I'm like, I'm having a full conversation with this lady, and I'm like, you know what? You, <laughs> I said, you make you've made a. Um, an appointment for me, but the, I said, you guys are ringing me right now? She said, oh, just ignore it. I'm like, I can't, because I could hear in the background, you know, when someone's trying to ring you, and boom, boom. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just been one of them days. Uh, and it's really humid out Um, I feel like I'm a bit, I don't know if I'm going through uh, menopause right now. I don't know. I feel a bit, mm. but I don't know if it's part of fibro, because fibro, you can have hot flushes, but then I'm like, is it the heat? But it's not really warm if you're not so my mind's going to can it be that can it be that can it be that i don't know my face feels like it's on fire my body it just feels very hot and sweaty and i'm like oh last night I, like again this is why i don't, I don't want to go to see, see the gp to see if it is because it's like well because it's summer is it because of that it's warm nights and living in the middle floor flat i feel the heat from the flat below and I was talking to her about that last night. She goes, oh, I said, have you had your eating on? She went, yeah. I said, no wonder my flat's red hot. <laughs> I 
good in the winter, not good in the uh, summer. Hello, Millie. Oh, dear Millie. I also, if you go and check out on my YouTube shorts, I did some tarot cards. Well, I tried shuffling them, but two jumped out. Or did it work three? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it was two out of my angel cards, the new ones that I've got. And the uh, two. But right, I'll take that. So I'll go across to my YouTube shorts and check that out if you're interested. Just take what resonates with you. I couldn't spell that word, so I didn't write it. And yeah, let, guys, let me know what you think of the product I put on my video today of the pen that I have for my dyslexia. I'm gonna, I need to have really have a good old look in, in it, play it, and see what is what. But I'm not good with instructions. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I'm going to catch up with you in the next video. I hope you all have a fantastic... Sorry, I got interrupted. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And, yeah, I, if possible, if I'm not busy, I will try and do a live tomorrow night about half seven, eight o'clock. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you're doing for this weekend and how have you all been finding your Friday and this weather. And let me know if it is a menopause. <laughs> I'm not going to have my old today. See you later, guys.